Hello guys, my name is Deep Chiring Lepcha. On behalf of the entire IM Editor team, welcome to the short video tutorials. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up and configure Telnet on a Cisco router. And we're going to do this whole setup in Cisco Packet Tracer. Let's begin. So, over here, we have got Cisco Packet Tracer. Just click on Add. Uh, this is the newest version of Cisco Packet Tracer. Uh, it's 7.2. So you can use your username and password or you can just click on guest login. Click on confirm guest. Clicked. And there you can see this is Cisco Packet Tracer. I'm going to click on the folder icon. Over there you can see 1841 series of router. I'm going to select one switch that is 2960 switch 2960. Click on computer and I have got one PC. I'm going to select cables, fastest is slash zero and fastest is slash one, router to switch and switch to PC. Done. All right, so I'm going to take it to the right side. Okay, uh, I'm going to sign an IP address based on class C network uh, 192.168.1.2 for PC. I uh, drag and drop over here then drag and drop over here as well all right bring it to the corner side on the left side all right now just click on the router expand it click on the configuration uh, command line interface there you can see the first initial configuration I'm going to just skip that configuration no this mode is actually known as user exit mode when you use question mark, that means it's going to show up uh, the command on the left side and right side, the description. Type enable to go to privilege mode. There you can see the sign. The name of the router is router and sign is hash. Here you can see that these are the commands when you use question mark. On the left side, you can see the commands and on the right side, you can see the description of every command. We are going to go to global configuration mode. There you can see you are in the configuration mode. This is known as global configuration mode. Router. Host name. R1. So we have changed the name of the router. It's now R1. And we are going to exit again. When we exit, the name of the router is R1 and we are in privilege mode. This mode is actually known as privilege mode. Show IP interface brief. This command actually shows you the interface inf um, information. No IP address assigned. So it must really down. We are going to assign IP address on fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, 0 slash 0, configuration terminal. All right. Interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. IP address 192.168.1.1255255255.0. This is an IP address. Do show IP interface brief. This will actually show you the interface information that IP address has been assigned. The only thing is that the status is administratively down. That means you haven't turned on the interface, right? You have to use no shutdown command to turn on the interface. There you can see change state to up. Now again verify to show IP interface brief. There you can see IP address has been assigned and status is up. Okay, now click on the computer, click on desktop, go to IP configuration, now set the IP address, assign an IP address to this computer 1.2.255.255.255.0, close, then we are going to go to command line, IP config to verify the IP address, there you can see the uh, IP address for this computer 192.168.1.2 and 255.255.255.0. Now I'm going to ping to the router and the reply is successful from PC to router. I'm going to the router and pinging from router to the PC. 
and 100% successful. It's, it's uh, working fine. So I'm going to try to tell it with the router remotely. Okay. Telnet using the telnet command from PC to router. But the thing is that it's not going to work. By default, telnet, uh, telnet uh, services is enabled. But the thing is that you cannot you cannot actually get uh, get into the router. Exit. Line VDY. You can see that you can use from 0 to 15. That means you can actually uh, set up from 0 to 15. That means 16 login simultaneously. I'm going to just uh, set a password for telnet and line VDY 0 space 4. Login means if you don't uh, just mention login, that means it's not going to work. Okay, now I'm going to. I'm trying to uh, access the router and it's asking for the password but the thing is that we haven't set enable password right now so r1 enable not set so we are going to set up enable password on router go to router enable password then Cisco enable Asking for the password and we have actually successfully logged in to the router show IP interface brief there you can see the assigned IP address and I'm actually logged in via my PC administratively down I'm going to assign IP address for fast 30 slash 1 do show IP interface brief over here okay brief sorry B R I E F over there you can see fast resist slash one is unassigned administratively down now I'm going to assign IP address from my PC global configuration terminal and interface fast Ethernet zero slash one IP address I'm going to set an IP address to the interface one I must create three two dot one two five five two five five two five five dot zero no shutdown turning on the interface right you can see that uh, the login message is over there show IP interface brief there you can see the IP address has been assigned to that interface here in router to show IP interface brief verify it from the router as well there you can see the IP address has been assigned so that means uh, my login is successfully done from the PC right now we are going to uh, log in via username and password for telnet so Exit again. Try to log in. There you can see that uh, it's asking for password, right? Uh, this is normal login. But what we are going to do is we are actually going to assign username and password. That means when we are going to log in to the telnet, it's going to ask for the username and password. So this is my username, user one, password, user one. Line VTY zero space four. No password. No login. Login local. Login local means the user uh, using the local database. And I have removed the password and local uh, and normal login. So I'm going to tell that one item must create one dot one see it's asking for the username type in user one and password would be user one that's how uh, we can actually uh, access to the router via pc swipe interface brief and we are successfully logged in there you can see the assigned ip addresses over there so this is how you can actually assign username and password login for telnet accessibility now we're going to see how to get direct access to privilege mode without even typing enable password. So what we're going to do is with the help of the username and password telnet 192.68.1.1 there you can see the username and uh, I have typed on the username and user1 username password. There you can see that I'm typing enable and it asks for the enable password. 
Now what we are going to do is we are going to use the full administrative privilege with the help of that full administrative privilege we can get full access to the router and without even typing enable password username user2 privilege 15 password user2 all right telnet 192.168.1.1 it asks for the password user2 user2 and there you can see we are directly logged in to the privilege mode without even typing the enable password this is how we actually um, get full privilege without even typing enable password this is how we do it show running config there you can see come to the bottom there you can see line vty zero space for login local that means it's going to use local database for the telnet login and there you can see the username and password with privilege and without privilege there is enable password and there is host name we have done everything uh, based on telnet configuration thanks for watching guys